Hey, what is going on guys? It's Arya back again. In this video, we're going to take a closer look at the new perk in Black Ops 4 Zombies called Zombie Shell. The description reads, basic zombies have a chance to explode when killed, leaving behind a contamination field that slows enemies and increases damage dealt to them. Sound familiar? So yes, it's essentially a poor man's version of Vulture Aid. But let's analyze the perk itself and see if it's even worth giving up one of your perk slots. The gas effect on this perk lasts for 8 seconds and it takes 15 seconds to recharge. After it is fully charged, it activates at complete random. Sometimes you could go an entire round without activating it. As far as the explosion effect goes, the radius is very small, so you could potentially kill up to about 5 zombies with the explosion if you manage to get them close enough to Together when the effect is triggered. So it's not really that useful. I had heard some people talk about how the explosion effect insta-kills heavy zombies and mini-bosses like the Blightfather, but I tested it and it does not. It does damage them, but it does not insta-kill. The gas effect does slow down the zombies significantly, so if you're camping, it could be somewhat helpful. You could probably use a combination of this perk and Stone Cold Stronghold, sit in a corner and get to the 40s and 50s with ease. And one more thing to mention, is that the effect can be activated by getting melee kills, so you could probably add Ethereal Razor to your perk class if you're feeling a little adventurous and you want to come up with new strategies to get to a high round. When a zombie stands near the gas, you get a small damage multiplier against that zombie while they're being affected by the gas, and after testing it, I have learned that it's actually a very small damage multiplier. A while ago, I made a video about silver bullets, and I talked about how small of a damage boost you get from them, and the damage boost that you get from this perk is the exact same as silver bullets so it's really not much and if you're using this perk just for the damage boost don't because you might as well just use deadshot dealer Thankfully, the damage multiplier from this perk does stack with the damage multiplier from Silver Bullets, and to give you an idea of how much more powerful you're going to be if you use both, I used the Strife on Dead of the Night, and I tested the combined damage boost from both, and I made this little table so you can see what the results are, and it's really not impressive. So where I'm getting at is this perk by itself without the modifier is not a very good perk. The gas effect gives you very little damage boost, it only lasts for 8 seconds, it takes 15 seconds to recharge and even after it's fully charged it's very inconsistent. Sometimes it just takes too long to activate which makes it very unreliable. It doesn't do anything to any of the boss zombies, and if you use the Helion Salvo, it's completely useless. The only good thing about it is that it slows the zombies down for 8 seconds and that could actually make a difference in some situations, but that's all it's good for. So the perk itself is really not good, but let's talk about the modifier because the perks in Black Ops 4 Zombies have a tendency to be very useless without the modifier and be extremely useful with the modifier. So how good is Zombie Shell in the modifier slot? Well, I can tell you that it's not bad. The description reads, players with the modifier are ignored by zombies while standing in the contamination field. That is not bad considering that the closest thing to this is the In Plain Sight Elixir which you have to earn or buy with real money and it only lasts for 10 seconds. So the modifier isn't bad, as a matter of fact the only time this perk is actually useful is if you put it in your modifier slot because the chance to be ignored by zombies for 8 seconds is invaluable. It could save you and give you time to heal and if you use it right you might actually be able to revive teammates. So if you're gonna use this perk make sure to to put it in your modifier slot. Basically, it's a camping perk, and even though you could use it when you're training, it would be a lot smarter to just use stamina up as your modifier instead. I'm gonna do something that I haven't done before, and I'm gonna give it a rating. So Zombie Shell the perk gets a 3 out of 10, and I'm gonna give the modifier a 7 out of 10. Even with the modifier, this perk is kind of underwhelming. I'm not gonna lie, I think it needs to be buffed in order to be able to compete with stamina up or Deadshot or even Dying Wish. That is gonna do it for today's video. Let me know in the comment section down below what you think of this perk. As always, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to drop a like, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.